You've probably seen them online, on television, maybe even in person. The new scooters, sometimes called hoverboards. Well, lots of kids have these hoverboards on their Christmas wish lists, but you may not expect an adult to use one at work. This is Nick Calloway introduces us to a Nashville artist who uses his hoverboard just about every day. When Ed Nash looks at a blank canvas, he sees a work of art waiting to be created. Nash was born and raised in Great Britain. You know, I'm just going to create a layer. And moved to Nashville eight years ago. He works in this Inglewood studio, and his work can be found all over the U.S. and the U.K. There's a, a sort of Japanese philosophy uh, of wabi sabi, which is basically means um, finding beauty in the imperfection. A few months ago, he saw one of those hoverboard scooters and was curious. I was with the kids, and uh, I said, "Kids, I really want to. Should I should get one of these?" And they were like, "Yeah, let's get let's get one, Daddy." He admits it was a rough start. I took it out in the parking lot and I dinged it a lot and fell off it, and bashed it. And gradually it got easier. And so now I, I use it all day long. Painting for long periods of time is hard on the body, especially the feet. You know, sometimes I'll be here till 2 o'clock in the morning working on, on paintings. And, um, and you go home, your legs are just like concrete. So now Nash can be found zipping around his studio for hours at a time. You know, I find it really, really easy on my feet. And the scooter is helping turn all these blank canvases into works of art. Nick Calloway, News 2.